Fort Rock Christmas Valley Lake Basin was a hot spot for volcanic activity. Each remaining volcanic remnant is unique and has an interesting story. This one remains hidden in plain sight and often gets overlooked. At the center of Oregon are many formations that occurred along a series of faults. There are dozens of these volcanic features, but only some are known by name. They are related to each other in origin, but had different reactions and results. The least visited named feature is Big Hole, and it sits just outside the western edge of the Fort Rock Basin. It is difficult to see from ground level, but satellite and drone images show the massive 6,000 foot wide hole. Hole in the ground is the twin crater to Big Hole. Sitting right between forested land and the dry high desert, it did not get covered in trees like Big Hole. Due to the bare and more defined crater, it is a lot more popular than its twin. Another nearby landmark is Fort Rock, which is a popular state park. It has some similarities to Big Hole, but one big difference. Rather than being in the ground, its crater sits above ground, with defined walls that have been eroded by water. The entire Fort Rock Basin was once a giant lake, and the area used to have a much more wet climate. The abundance of water allowed for the reaction of magma reaching groundwater to form these volcanic landmarks. Big Hole is right next to Highway 31, also known as the Oregon Outback Scenic Byway. Dirt roads go right into the hole, but in winter it's a little harder to access. When inside the hole, the surrounding crater mostly cannot be seen. But Big Hole is worth exploring for those that have some curiosity and patience. Whether we find something or not, these remote places provide a special experience. Most sources estimate the eruption of Big Hole's twin, Hole in the Ground, to be around 15,000 years ago. Big Hole is believed to be a bit older due to it having more erosion. There are many types of volcanoes like the Shield Volcano Newberry or the Strato Volcanoes of the Cascade Range but Big Hole is a lesser known one called a Mar. It was formed by magma rising until it reached water deep underground. It then flashed to steam and produced a huge explosion. The explosion launched debris straight up and also up to a few miles away. Some rocks would settle and others fell back into the hole to repeat the process over and over. After multiple explosive eruptions, the crater was formed.
This cross section of hole in the ground shows the exposed lava flows that are also present in Big Hole. Opening up a 300 foot deep hole exposed other volcanic flows, which are seen around the inside of the rim. These exposed rocks are worth exploring to see some up close detail of Big Hole. Cliffs go for a long ways with a few shallow caves along them. Being harder to see and harder to reach, visitors often have big hole to themselves. Volcanoes give us things to study and learn from, but they also provide us with peaceful places. The exposed rock goes for a long way along the east side of the rim and ends around the south side. One characteristic that identifies a mar is the crater being below ground level. This makes many people believe that Big Hole and Hole in the Ground are impact craters. That can easily be disproved by the minerals that are present and the ones that are not present. The imperfect shape of Big Hole's north rim is also a volcanic characteristic. On the northwest rim is Big Hole Butte, which is part of Big Hole rather than its own volcanic vent. Usually this happens because of wind trending in a certain direction, making more of the rock settle there. much more noticeable and often the only part of Big Hole that people see. Due to its remote location, little visuals from the ground, and a lack of curiosity, Big Hole has not become a major attraction compared to other volcanoes like Fort Rock. Even the less visually epic landmarks have their own story that can teach us about our natural world. They can also be a place to find peace and relaxation. Whether intrigued by it or not, there is no denying that Big Hole is in fact a Big Hole. <laughs>